Inside Press Box is presented by Live Casino and Hotel. Always live, always on. And welcome into Inside Press Box. Stan the Fan Charles here with my co-host Gary Stein, and it's a basketball-heavy edition this week, Gary, with two new Division I head coaches joining the fraternity. And the schedule makers have created an interesting little twist for our show today. We'll give you more on that a little later. As an assistant coach, Eric Skeeters has been on the winning side for two of college basketball's biggest upsets. The Baltimore native recently accepted the head coaching job at Delaware State University, inheriting a program which endured a 4-28 season a year ago. Our conversation with Coach Skeeters is coming up later in the show. And Stan and I will break down the discussions between the NFL and the NFL PA regarding the national anthem policy, or lack thereof. That plus a little Orioles talk in another installment of Crosstalk. But first, after five consecutive losing seasons, Loyola University Maryland men's basketball is embarking on a new era. It's a pleasure to welcome in the Greyhounds' new head man, longtime D1 assistant coach with Northwestern Georgetown, and most recently Georgia Tech, and that is Tavares Hardy. Welcome in, Tavares. How are you? Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. We said we were going to do more on that later, but uh, Eric Skeeters, I know you know him pretty well, but if you had known that he, you had him on the schedule coming in November, would you have taken this job? Yeah, I don't know. The <laughs> he's way they, the giant killer. Yeah, but we're not giants yet, so we're okay. <laughs> uh, but no, he's, he's Mr. Baltimore, and uh, it's been a pleasure getting to know him over uh, the years just in the coaching game, but he's going to do a great job over there at Delaware State. Hey, um, I was reading up on your hire, and the first quote out of your mouth was it'll be really fantastic to be able to teach some of the core principles of the Ignatian way. Mm -hmm. And I had to look that up. <laughs> and you had it right off the top of your head. Talk a little bit about that Ignatian way, the spirituality of a, a Jesuit school and your familiarity. Absolutely. One of the main things that attracted me to Loyola was the fact that I don't have to reinvent the wheel in terms of how we're going to structure our men's basketball program. And when you think about St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuit principles, um, you think about his core values in terms of the education, the education of the whole person, um, you know, service base. It's just a unique opportunity to sort of implement the core principles of the university and put that into a basketball program. If we're unselfish, if we're thinking about others, we'll have a lot of success on the court. And so as I studied more about what St. Ignatius' model was, um, I just felt like it was a great great yeah. example to, to use with our players you know coach there's a lot of interesting things about your resume including the fact that you were an all all big 10 player uh two-time in northwestern uh the, the stops that you had as far as assistant coaching under some great coaches but the thing that stuck out to me was after your playing days were over you took a job on wall street mm -hmm. did that for three or four years and then came back to coaching right. why did you take the job on wall street and what drew you back to coaching yeah, it was interesting. When I stopped playing professional ball, I wanted absolutely nothing to do with sports. Um, mm. You know, just because it had defined me for so long and I knew that, you know, I was more than just a ball player. That's what my experiences were as a student athlete, not to be one dimensional. Um, so going to Wall Street, doing, uh, working at JP Morgan was a phenomenal experience. Learned a lot. Um, it was intense. Um, but at the end of the day, my passion has always been basketball. It's guided me through life. And the opportunity to go back to my alma mater as my first college coaching job was one that I couldn't turn down. Speaking of that job, you played for Bill Carmody over there at Northwestern. Absolutely. I know you played for Kevin O'Neill a little bit, but you played for him, and then you coached under him. What has he meant to you? Now, Coach Carmody has been a tremendous uh, mentor, um, both you know in terms of how I want to live my life, but also how I saw the game. Um, you know, just that sort of open style of thinking about basketball. Um, and, and so he's been tremendous to work with. Uh, I am looking forward to coaching against him mm. uh, because he's, he's a great friend and he's it'll be Holy fun. Holy Cross now. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, there's a common thread between Bill Carmody and John Thompson III and John Thompson, and that's Petey Carrill, mm -hmm. who was the head coach at Princeton, legendary coach, big upset in the NCAA, et cetera. But my, my point is, um, what, what type of influence? Do you see yourself bringing that philosophy and that style of play to Loyola, or do you not want to be pigeonholed in any way? Yeah, so, I mean, I've learned a lot, um, you know, just being around those guys in terms of how they see the game. There's certainly some things that – you know, we're going to implement. Uh, but at the end of the day, I've had a chance to coach in the ACC. Right. I've had a chance to coach in the Big Ten. Um, you know, I played in the Big Ten. It's it's a little different um, than, than what those guys were able to experience when they played. And so I have a different set of, of, of values in terms of exactly what we're going to do. We're going to play really fast. 
Uh, we're going to really put pressure on teams. Uh, we've been working on that this summer with our guys. Uh, but then, yes, we're, we are going to have great ball movement and player movement. Um, so many NBA teams are doing a lot of what we're going to do. You think about the Spurs, you think about the Warriors, you think about the Celtics. That's how we're going to play. Just a lot of ball movement, player movement, and then we're going to be good defensively. Mm -hmm. How does what UMBC, and we're going to talk to Eric Skeeters, who's been on Ryan Odom's staff, how's what they did this year impact coaches at the level you're at right now? I mean, that's got to give you a lot, lot of optimism at what you can do. Absolutely. I mean, it, it certainly gets the administration excited. It gets the, the fans excited on, on what the potential is. Now, it's a very difficult thing to do. Um, I coached against Virginia in the ACC yeah. <laughs> being at Georgia Tech, and it's a, what they accomplished was phenomenal. And not only UMBC, but what Loyola Chicago was able to do. Uh, and so it's certainly uh, you know, somewhere we want to get to, but we also know that we have to embrace the process to get there. Uh, we're not going to come in year one and just all of a sudden win every game we play just because UMBC was right. able to upset Virginia. Right. Um, but but it is something that we're going to shoot for. We're going to strive to to compete with anyone we, we play against, and um, we'll do our best to try to get some wins. Got, got, uh, got about 30 seconds left. What's the single most important thing that you want to impart to your team? Yeah, I mean, I, when, when people watch us play, I want them to walk away saying, wow, those guys really play hard. Mm. They, really, they really play smart, and they really play together. And if we can accomplish those three things, I think we're going to have a very successful program this year and in the future. Welcome to Sounds Baltimore. Sounds good, yep, absolutely. We'll right. Keep an eye on you. Yeah. Thank right. you. <clears throat> Up next is Tavares Hardy's November 13th opponent, Delaware State head men's basketball coach, Eric Skeeters joins us right after this break. And Hero Appreciation Day is every Wednesday at Live Casino and Hotel. Live Rewards members with a valid military, DOD, police officer, or firefighter ID receive special offers. Visit LiveCasinoHotel.com for details. Out of Rundle Mills must be 21. Please play responsibly for help. Call 1-800-GAMBLER. And Glen Burnie Transmissions provides factory remanufactured transmissions for hundreds less than the dealer. Suspect you have a transmission issue? Stop by for a complimentary road test and scan. You can easily get an estimate on your transmission repair by going to their website, gbt-online.com, or call them, 410-766-8500. Inside Press Box is presented by Live Casino and Hotel. Always live, always on.